Like we told you, we'll be learning some modern African dance moves today. Yep, and who better to show us these moves than Chiluba. This guy right here has such unique signature dance moves. I'm pretty sure you know one or two of them. Yep, and it's a session we are definitely looking forward to. Hey, hey, what's hello, up, what's hello, up, hello. Hey. Let me say hi to the lady first. Hey, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? I'm very good, I'm very good. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the House of Sweat, man. House this of sweat. sweat. All goes down. All this Afrobeat choreography thing. <laughs> how, how, how long have you been doing this? Uh, first, let me correct you. It's not Afrobeat, it's Afro. Because Afrobeat is from Nigeria, so. Afro choreography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for like 15 years. Nice. What? Yes. And how far has, you know, this dance thing taken you? Because your classes, when I see them online, they're full with foreigners, Kenyans, yeah. people from all over. I've been able to, to be on tables which many people you wish for, you get. And I give thanks for that. And you can, you can see them, speak them. Yeah, um, I've, I've worked with Saudi Soul very closely. Nice. We, we did the Live and Die in Africa tour. Ah, okay. I was, I was the one who was behind all that dancing all in that the album. movements on that that yes. was you yeah but it's not only with musicians because i don't look, only work with musicians it's just that they're the popular ones because i work with corporates all over the place i do commercials i teach i do workshops i teach both in kenya and abroad and when i teach abroad it, it's more than just dancing it's giving the knowledge to and explaining to them what dance is, what African dance is, because I'm really passionate about African dance. I'm really passionate about dance business. So when I travel abroad, mostly I'm talking about the, the nitty gritties of African dance. But when I'm in Kenya, I give workshops on how to scale your dance as a business up. What does African dance mean to you personally? Uh, for me, African dance means the future. For, for the longest time, we've been trying to learn more about what other people do and forgetting about what we have yeah and i'm also not yet as as good as i want to be in terms of understanding our culture in terms of dance i'm also learning mm -hmm. and guy when you travel out there people love our stuff these other uh, you know uh, genres have their own steps mm -hmm. how do you articulate african dance number one mm -hmm. is all about feeling mm -hmm. so when i train you when i train these people first i tell them it's all about feeling. Yeah. You can get the step, but if the feeling is not right, it's, it still doesn't look nice. Yeah. So it's not about being perfect. When you get the feeling, mm -hmm. uh, the style will come, but the feeling is number one. So do you have to be a dancer or good dancer to get African dance? Most of my, my dance students here in Kenya are not even close to, to dancers. They're just people who love dance and in the corporate world, mm -hmm. you get, as she rightly said, have a clientele of more of Kenyans and experts, you get. Uh -huh. And these experts are not dancers, they just love the vibes, you get. They want a space where they can dance to music that is from this place. Because yeah. most of the time when they go out and it's a predominant, do, dominantly white place, they'll play music that sounds white. Yeah. They don't want that, they actually want the real African. Yeah. So they don't get that out there, so they come here. So I'll teach you guys a very easy step called Kanyagalami. Okay, so it's a very very easy step. Right. Kanyagalami. His face has changed. Huh. All right. Because it doesn't know. sound familiar. Let's do it. Kanyagalami is a very easy step. Right, left. Uh, 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 uh. Right, let's go. Right, right left. left. Right, left. And then have your hands here. <laughs> then. <laughs> As you do that, go down just a little bit. Don't be uncomfortable, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit. So, right. right. The hand goes. Yeah, the hand goes right, right. then left. Left, oh. Right, let's just take it slowly. You see when I go left? So you just bounce, bounce, hey, bounce, bounce. <laughs> shake something, shake something. <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing an OD Kenyan type of, type of dance, you have to, that coolness in you, zero. Drop the coolness. Drop Santi Sana, thank you very much. Today had a whole lot of movement right. from biker chicks to b-boys. To those stunts that those guys were doing on uh -huh. their bicycles. Yeah, yeah well, that was wicked, but... Uh -huh. 
I was not ready for those dance moves Chiluba showed us. What? You know, I had two left feet, but I promise I'll do better. I know you will. I know you will. Right about now, I just want to move straight to my sofa. And I'll do something similar. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of What's Good Africa.